Derek White. And his opponent in the green from Penn State, Anthony Cusson. It's time for somebody new to take over at heavyweight. Kyle Snyder, one of the greatest in college wrestling. His three-year run is over as his college career is over. And it's one and two here at heavyweight as we get the night started. You're right, Mike. The three-timer Kyle Snyder kind of introduced us to the new heavyweight. A couple of, he was a 220-pounder, won it three times, and here we've got a 240 pounder in Kassar, one of the great stories of persistence, 197 pounder last year, and here he is putting on about 45 pounds and in the finals tonight for Penn State. Derek White, also a former 197 pounder, neither having been all Americans before this year, and here they are vying for the national championship. These wrestlers met earlier on in this season at the Southern Scuffle with White coming out on top. It was a one takedown match. Kassar started coming on later on in the match, but he's got to get his offense going early this time around to try to get that win. Right here with that right hand White. That's how he beat Kassar last time with the overtie and a shuck and a pass by. Very good at that. All the Oklahoma State guys are good with that overtie, shuck, pass by. And he was able to score on Kassar early, and that held up for the win at the Southern Scuffle in Chattanooga. White in the orange singlet for Oklahoma State. Started his career first two years at Nebraska, coming out of high school, where just as a freshman he weighed 119 pounds. Now sits about twice that weight. And they're coming back to neutral midway through the first. Ten weight classes starting at heavyweight tonight. We'll finish off at 197 pounds. Regulation time for the match. If you're new to wrestling, seven minutes can feature overtime. Three periods, three, two, and two minutes. Derek White is an active minute, John, wrestler. Minute. He wants to make it an active match. He moves well, and he wants to keep it going. Kassar's got a nice right side underhook and also a great straight on double. He's got to get some level changing going here. He's working in the ties. And two midweight guys for this weight class that can go up to about, can go up to 285 pounds. First look at a real good shot. Kassar, as you mentioned, Tim, at 197, was the first time he really had to cut weight in his career. Now about 235, 240 after over the summer, his intake got up to about 7,000 calories a day. And you mentioned the mid-weight here. Heavyweight's such a variety. You get, Ten. you have to uh, be completely different sizes throughout the year, which no other weight class has to do it. They weigh in, they weigh the same. Four, Not so at heavyweight. Three, two, one, time. <laughs> Scoreless after the first three minutes. Gail Sanderson, the head coach of Penn State, Brought them to their most prolific period in the program's history. Locking up the team title earlier today. Four straight. The only interruption in their run was the 2015 title from Ohio State. It's a nice escape there by White getting up to his feet. Bizarre went down to that ankle, put right back, White back down, but that's what it takes to get out from that bottom position, that constant movement. You don't sit there. Keep moving, stay active. Kassar has impressed me all year just with his blast double, the ability to uh, lower his level and penetrate with a lot of power. You'd think it would take a, you know, a, lot, a flurry to open up white, but uh, Kassar has been able to uh, uh, just uh, lower his level and blast in without a whole lot of activity and be successful at it with other wrestlers. He was not against White. He did not really come close at the Southern Scuffle of getting past the 
head hands defense and getting to the legs of White. See White's doing a nice job in those ties. He's got that collar tie, the tricep of Kassar there. Keeps controlling the wrist. He's not allowing Kassar the opportunity to set up those shots that he wants. Forty seconds for one and two. Great opportunity for the heavyweights to start out. You know, usually they're towards the end of the uh, tournament, and here they get the opportunity. The fans are fresh. Everybody's excited, and the heavyweights are in the middle of the mat as the uh, as gladiators and the star of the shows to start it off. Kassar not letting White there. He comes, found the angle. Now he needs to clean it real clean right here, and he does, and he's getting back points right here. And if he can get that shoulder into the shoulder. Whoa. In short time in the second, but a dangerous move as he takes the advantage. A steep one into the third. Speed was a factor there. The speed of a Kassar. He moved laterally, found the angle, and clean finish was the key. Wow. Terrific job there by Kassar. A lot of wrestlers tend to relax at the end of the period. Kassar saw an opportunity to take a shot, went for it, and committed to it. Great job there. And White cuts him loose, knowing he needs to score here in these final two minutes to make it a match once again. White's going to catch up. It's not going to be done by a takedown here and a takedown there. He needs some big points himself. And so he needs to get on top and get to his best offense on top. Look at that. Beautiful job there by Kassar following the hips of White. Way to stay consistent with the attack. Stay on it. Good job there. Speed turns into control for Kassar of 9-1. Kassar wrestles like a 25-pounder, real lightweight. He's just not the same wrestler he was two months ago. He's actually put on weight. He's gotten faster. He's just more used to being a, a light heavyweight. And great, great movement by Kassar. We're not going to see more quickness than this in the next weight class at 125. Kassar just the first of five Nittany Lions in the finals. Four years in a row with five finalists, and what a start for the Nittany Lions. They've gone five for five before. This would be a way to kick it off. It's a solid ride by Kassar in that top position, pressuring forward, staying on his toes, making White carry that weight. Kassar has had to battle through injury, battle one of his own teammates to get the starting spot, beat out a two-time All-American to get to the finals. And here he is a champion. period that didn't feature much activity but toward the end of the second he made his move and that proved the difference and he found the angle I'll tell you he was moving he was looking and found the angle and then finished cleanly it was really crisp wasn't it, Anthony it definitely was Kassar definitely made some adjustments from that first match said you know what I'm gonna go early in that second period I'm gonna attack I'm not gonna wait till the end Quinn getting swarmed who are these guys, Anthony? Who are these guys? Jersey and Long Island, stand up, baby. It's the fan, it's the fan right here. I'm a Long Island guy, I guess I get to stand up. Tell me about that second period. Takedown and back points, what happened? Uh, I stayed focused, got to my attacks, I'm better everywhere. Just gotta go for it, I went for it. How do you characterize your speed at the heavyweight? Fast, 
God made me fast. I use it. Enjoy it. Congratulations. Glory to God, baby. Champ is here.